Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here today to do March favorites. Um, I don't have a lot, but I do have a few things. I'm going to start with the Secret Clinical Strength Smooth Solid Ooh La La Lavender. I really like this deodorant. Um, I was using the clear, but it made me feel like my underarms were too wet. And I do not like that feeling, so I switched over to the Soft Solid, and it works a lot better. The next polish, the next thing I have is a polish, and it is Essie in the Cabana, which I'm not sure if it'll focus on that, but it's this beautiful blue color. I don't have my nails painted right now, I just took my polish off, but this blue is gorgeous. I got this at Target in case anybody's looking for it. I think it's in their new spring collection. Um, eyeshadows. These kind of go together, and I'm sorry my palette looks rough. It's been well loved. The Naked Basics. This just is great for any palette that doesn't really have mattes or a nice highlight. You can see I just love this color. Um, I have these shadows on today. And I like pairing it with the Comfort Zone palette, which I dug out. Look how bad that looks. I dug this out of my drawer and got it out and started showing it some love. Um, you can see I actually do. I have used these colors predominantly. Um, and I have these on today as well. I have this one on my brow bone in inner corner. This all over my lid. This on my outer corner. Um, this in my crease and this also on the outer corner so that is my eye look for today I'm also loving the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara this is almost done for me because I've had it for quite a while and it's drying out um, I'm going to try something I'm going to try cleaning this up and saving the wand and putting it in another um, mascara and seeing if the wand works with different formulas because I don't know if it's the formula of this or the wand or a combination of both that makes this mascara so fantastic but I'm gonna do some experimentation with that next I dug out my Cody airspun loose face powder um, I put this away because it has parabens and I don't like to use parabens but I was very frustrated with the way my other face powders were looking on my face and I thought I'd pull it out and retry it and I fell in love with it and in my mind I'm kind of making it seem like if I cut parabens out of everything else I'm still getting less parabens than I was before so I'm gonna use this for a little while <laughs> until I get scared and don't use it again these are from Amazon these are the cotton cloud cotton pads these are just like the Shiseido. I'm not even kidding. They are amazing. They are square, thick, so soft. You'll love them. And they're only like five or six dollars. So I've been getting these. Um, next is the L'Oreal Ever Cream Sulfate Free Moisture System Intense Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. I recently started using the shampoo. I got the conditioner yesterday and I started using that this morning. Love, love, love those shampoo and conditioner combo. Next, Nutella. Look how big this jar is. Oh my gosh. Nutella. Last weekend we went to State College and we stopped at this little cafe that had crepes that were gluten free. And I had a chocolate crepe stuffed with strawberries and drizzled with Nutella. And my husband looks at me and says, you are the only person I know that would find the one restaurant in this whole county that serves Nutella because I love it that much. Yeah, so there's that. Okay, then this is my hands down favorite thing of the whole month. And it is my Plum Paper Designs Planner. Oh, it's so gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Eee, I love it. Um, I love it. And I made this little tassel. Isn't it cute? Um, yes, I'm going to do a video uh, flip through of my planner. Maybe film that next. I'm going to try to. I'm not sure about the setup. And then to go along with that, I just recently got from Amazon the Colorbox Petal Point Pigment Stamps. It looks like this. This is in, I forget, it doesn't have a thing on the back. I can't remember the color name, but this is how it looks. It's beautiful. And then you pull out 
these little triangles and stamp your stamp with it. So, loving these inks. They're gorgeous. And to go along with that, I decided instead of buying stamps all the time, or stickers all the time, I was going to try some stamps. Um, I think I showed these in another video. And I have this one. This is just the acrylic stamps. This one is from Wallflowers, I think. Wallflower? Wallflower? Something. Is that one? You can tell I use these ones a lot. Um, and then my little stamps I just have in this bag. Also from Wallflower. These are the weather stamps. And then I showed these in a video recently. These were from, I think, Heidi Swap from Michaels. So, yeah. Love my planner. I think it's taking up a lot of time. Um, and I just ordered, I did order the Fedori from Amazon. And I'm so, the Fedori from Amazon. I'm so excited to get it. It's going to be here tomorrow because I have Prime. And I will show you that when it comes in. Yay! All right, that is everything, and I'm going to go out in the kitchen and try to film a planner flip through. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great April, because April showers bring me flowers. This spring is definitely right around the corner, even though yesterday it was 18 degrees here. I mean, that's ridiculous. But weather is turning around. It is sunny today. Is that snow? Oh, please tell me that's not snow. I'm so sick of it. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.